it's it's something you can't even believe that you know you held without trial without charge you're not allowed to see the evidence against you uh, you solicitor not allowed to see the evidence no one allowed to see the evidence against you or they say they have it which i don't believe they have nothing yeah or if they have they have nonsense just nonsense so if, if you keep thinking about it you just you go mad I start doing this uh, model by matchsticks just to to keep my 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 mind occupied because I I never thought in my life that I'm going to be in this situation in this country. I'm under house arrest because the home office they decided that I am a threat to the national security. I was arrested in uh, 2006, held in the high security prison, Long Latin prison, for two years. Then after two years, I uh, was put in under house arrest. It's really hard to spend 20 hours in, in, in the house, you know. My house is bugged, my phone is bugged. They listen for everything. What are the consequences if we're found with this camera in your house? This is a breaking of my condition. So obviously I'm going to go back to the prison for that. You think it's worth the risk? To be honest, yes, I mean, I, I think it's worth because I wanted to show the people outside, yeah, how is it like to, to be in this situation for, for nothing you have done. How can you say that you're innocent when, you, like you say, you don't know the evidence against you, you've never been charged, so... That's true, I don't know what they have. That's true, I can't even, like... Uh, see the evidence against me but I, I am sure that's I'm innocent because uh, I haven't done anything my wife and my daughter and my newborn son they become prisoners with me in the house now my wife, she is mentally ill, and this is a result of, of my situation, actually. She lost trust if going out herself. She, she, she can't go out herself alone. So sometimes if I, if, I if I run out of the bread or the milk or anything I need to buy, I can't send her out because she can't go. And I can't go myself. Shema. The police, they can raid my house any time, any day they want. They can take anything from the house. I can't stop them. Anything. So they decide to take, to take my clothes because they have suspicion. <laughs> they can. <laughs> They know there's nothing in the house, but this is just part of like of making my life more difficult. Here when that died I write every time the police come to search my house, the time, the date and how many officers they come each time. At twelve thirty PM three officers came, seven officers came, four officers again four officers came. 
6 30 in the morning 7 a.m take them about three hours to search the house 4 p.m four officers came just two days after 12 officers came as as usual they searched the house upside down It's affecting her really badly because Shayma now, if I tell you, she woke up during her sleep in the night three, four times sometimes, crying, screaming. And uh, I just have to, to be watching her all the night sometimes. Sometimes she's sleeping and crying in the same time. And I thought she's awake. I just fall asleep sometime and just woke up and her noise. She she just crying, crying during her sleep. I, I thought she's awake, she's crying or something. So I just walk and go to see her and her bed. And she, she's sleeping and she's crying at the same time. And... Uh, If, if, if they believe that's a threat to the national security, and if they have evidence to prove that that's a, I'm a, I'm a threat to the national security, why don't they, 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 they put me in an open trial? And if the court find me guilty, then I, I, I go to the prison and I'm willing to face whatever the court going to decide. If they decide that I'm guilty of, of the home office, what they accused me of, and find me guilty, as I said, I'm willing to face 20 years in the prison.